I've got one cherry tomato that's lasted almost to winter, and I'm going to show you today. All the rest of my tomatoes have been gone for, I don't know, four weeks, six weeks. You can just see they're just skeletons. I have a couple little green stragglers there that are probably not going to fully ripen. But there's one, every place I planted it, that is still giving me delicious cherry tomatoes. And I just, I keep eating them every morning thinking, oh, oh see, there, that one's ready to fall off. And this one's always the one that you have to pick above the stem. It wants to bring its little top with it. This is called, let me see if I can focus for you, Matt's Wild Cherry. Teeny little. It's as big as it ever gets. Here are a bunch more right there. Still green and blossoming, ready to change color and ripen. There are a couple ripe ones there whole bunch. I mean, we're at mid-October, zone five. Snow is, we've already had our fro our first uh, almost frost. And you can see there are a few little stragglers back in there, a few there, a few down there, but they're all still good. And the deer keep coming every day, munching a few of them. Now, the, all the ones outside the fence they ate, but I have all these inside. And in my other garden, I have up in the corner there where the most sun is, I have maybe three or four more pots of Matt's Wild Cherry, and they're still there. They're still red reddening. I got some orange ones and they're turning red. So I just thought I'd give you this little tip. If you want to, and, and mind you, I planted them all. I planted probably one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven varieties of cherry tomatoes this year. And I grew all of them from seed, put them all in winter sowing at the same time. And I planted them in the buckets almost the same time. And all of them have died except we have a few sun golds right there. No, those are wild, Matt's wild cherries too. And the Matt's wild cherries. So if you want to have tomatoes lasting you late into the season, I recommend putting a couple pots of these in so you can enjoy them like I have. Okay, that's my tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video. Oh, before you go, I always do this. I forget to ask you. Um, do you have a late fruiting tomato, a cherry tomato? What is yours that goes way into the fall, almost into winter? If you have one, please share it with everybody. We'd sure appreciate that. All right, take care. I'm going to eat a tomato. Bye.